Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better me. <sighs> Phoenix fans, y'all might want to click out this video. I'm just very warning because y'all not gonna like what I had to say in this video. Y'all, I know all y'all watched the game last night, okay? And so I'm gonna get straight to it. We're going to get into a day evisceration of the Phoenix Suns. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. Y'all ready? Where should I start? Um, can we start? Let's start with Kevin Durant. Let's start with Devin Booker. Let's start with Bradley Beal. So there's three stars. Two of them are superstars on the same floor. I have really nothing much to say about Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant's been Kevin Durant. One of the best scores we ever ever lived. Okay. He's been doing his part. He balled down game one. Game two, he was contained. Game three, he was still contained. And then game four, he tried, but it was not enough. Devin Booker didn't show up at all in the first three games of the series until the last game. Devin Booker dropped basically 50 points. Not enough. Bradley Bill. Never been a part of a team that got swept before. Oh, you uh, you actually never score over 20, 25 points in the series also. Hmm. So did you do your part in the series? No. So you deserve to get swept. And did you even do anything to help Phoenix try to win? In game four? Oh, uh, y'all can watch my reaction video. Uh, go subscribe to that. It's real true reacts. Give your boy a subscribe channel if you're new to that to my reaction channel. Drop in every day. Now, Bradley Bill had one block in the game. That's the only highlight I seen when I was watching that reaction video. Yeah. You didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing all serious. But you want to ball out versus Minnesota in a regular season. Does it count? No. Now, let's get to Frank Vogel, the organization, and the problems on why they got swept. Shall we? All right. First, let's start off on really why y'all got swept. Y'all got swept because y'all was too small. Simple as that. Y'all was too damn small. Let's be honest, like it's just that simple. Y'all had Royce O'Neal guarding Cat and Rudy Gobert. Y'all had Kevin Durant on both Cat and Rudy Gobert. You know Nurkish. I've never been a fan of Nurkish. Nurkish is just garbage. I'm sorry, he's garbage. The fact that y'all picked him up. What did y'all get Bo Bo for? He's the tallest player. One of the tallest players in the NBA. Definitely the tallest player on your team. Y'all tried to give him minutes. Didn't work. Bobo is just lazy. Okay? He's lazy. He don't want to do nothing. He has great talent. He's just lazy. Y'all picked him up for nothing because he uses his tall. Why not try to get Andre Drummond? Did y'all even think about that? Before y'all got Nurkic? Before y'all decided to trade away Aiden, now I get y'all trading away DeAndre Aiden. That he needed to be gone in that situation. I get that. But y'all had to have a surf, service or bitman to replace that. Nurkic is not good. I'm sorry. He's not even big enough for Cat and Rudy Gobert. Andre Drummond would have been the best candidate. But now nobody can get it because the, the contracts are too high in Chicago. The rest of the team, y'all have three stars. Two of them are superstars. 
two of them are future Hall of Famers, especially Kevin Durant. Devin Booker eventually. I don't want to see Devin Booker win because he does deserve it. Now, I'm not going to blame Devin Booker at all in this series because he has a bad matchup. He had a bad matchup. Okay? That's the whole series. There's too many mismatches in the series. So I'm not really surprised. At first, I'm like, dang, y'all all, have all these stars. Y'all got swept. But now I'm looking at the mismatches. I said, I'm going to keep saying again, y'all. Basketball in general is all about matchups, especially the playoffs. They're all about matchups. Y'all have nobody to guard cat. All these offensive rebounds Minnesota's getting because y'all just too small. They're too small. Royce O'Neal. Eric Gordon. Nasir Little. Little. His last name is Little. That defies your whole team other than Kevin Durant. Okay. Frank Vogel. Let's get into the coach. Um, Does he need to be fired? You can say he, 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 yes, you can say that. But a lot of this is not all Frank Vogel's fault, in my opinion. It's not. Most of it is the organization. 30, 25% is Frank Vogel, not even 35%. Because Frank Vogel has some terrible mismatch, he, some terrible adjustments, yes, okay? But he did get to see this, this team at least a sit seed in the West. He did, okay? Yes, you had Kevin Durant, you had Bradley, yeah, Devin Buck and Bradley, but you should be a higher seat. I get it. But the reality is, you're not going to win without a point guard. And that's the next thing I'm going to get into also. So this is not really all, all on freight vocal. It's not. Does he need to be back next year? I honestly don't care. It, 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 I, at, this, at this point, you can fire him. I mean, who would you replace it with him? Place him with at this point. So it doesn't matter. Y'all can fire him or not. The biggest problem is James Jones. Y'all don't want to say that. The biggest problem is James Jones. Great three point shooter wins on Miami. Great three point shooter out of his career. Um, as a GM, he's not a bad GM at all. As a matter of fact, he's a good GM. But He's hard headed. How you think? How you how you believe? I, I've been saying this for the past two years since they got rid of Chris Paul. How you believe Phoenix is going to compete with anything without a point guard? Well, you have all three of these star players. You realize you need a point guard, right? You realize that, right? At least the Lakers have Devo. And which I'm not a huge fan of him. They have Deco. He's a point guard. At least Denver. You know why Denver's amazing? Because they have no weaknesses on their team. None. You can point out the whole list of the whole team. They have it. Point guard, Jamar Murray. 3 D. You can say a couple players on Denver. You can say MPJ. You can say KCP. The bitch, Christian Brown, Reggie Jackson, like it it goes down. It, it's they have a lot of depth, and they have the best big man in the league. You can make an argument Joel Embiid, but it's Jokic. So y'all lost with that. Y'all lost to that team. Okay, last year y'all lost to that team, but y'all lost in six. Y'all y'all made it competitive because y'all had Chris Paul. And I'm not a fan, I'm not a huge fan of Chris Paul. But we can now we can we can acknowledge that Chris Paul is one of the greatest true point guards that ever played again. We can acknowledge that. Because he breaks down matchup problems and he gets other play, he gets all his players involved. You need a leader on your team. In my opinion, the Phoenix Suns don't have a leader. 
and they don't have a point guard. What makes you think you can beat any team in the playoffs without a point guard? What makes you? I, I, I'm a girl. These these Suns because I have I have a few couple of friends, a few couple of people that are Phoenix Suns fans. Oh, Devin Booker can be a point guard. Oh, Devin Booker played point guard before. Oh, Devin Booker can do this, do that. We don't need a point guard. You damn sure you need one. You, you, you think you don't need a point guard now? Did Devin, did Devin Booker play any kind of point guard, point guard in this series? How many assists is he average? Did he get other players involved? Hmm? Did y'all get a win in the series? Hmm? I didn't think so. Shut up. Yeah, y'all y'all sound stupid. I'm sorry. Y'all y'all need a point guard. Simple as that. I've been saying in the trade deadline, if y'all would have got Tyus Jones, if y'all would have got that's all y'all needed. And a, a, a big and a Andre Drummond service or big. Someone like that. Y'all would have had a chance. But now y'all are screwed. Why me screwed? Y'all gonna have y'all have no choice but to run it back. Y'all are 150 mil over Caspers. Because y'all would have played all these three players. Who are you gonna trade away? You can't trade away to Kevin Durant. Damn sure ain't gonna get away get rid of Devin Booker. That's our franchise player. The only option is Bradley Bill, but who let's be honest, who wants Bradley Bill right now? It's a, it's some teams got to take on Bradley Bill. What kind of value are you going to get back? And this is why I say J James Jones is a problem. You all did all that to get Kevin Durant, which is Kevin Durant. Trade away all your draft picks. Now y'all have zero draft picks in the next five, six years. Hey, Suns fans, I'm going to pray for y'all. Y'all in the worst position y'all can ever be. Y'all can't get no lottery pick. And y'all can't get past the first round or second round. See, y'all are stuck in the middle. I'm praying for y'all, man. That's all I'm going to do with this video. If y'all enjoy, give your boy a subscribe channel if you're new. Um, comment down below if... I don't know, man. Phoenix, this is bad. This is bad. Till next time, man. You've been both well in the mouth.